Hello and welcome to you all. My name is Jacob and thanks for watching this All IP Network Edition of Ocean Store Talks. As information turns fully digital, the digital economy will become the new engine for enterprise economic growth. And here, data will play the key critical role driving the engine forward. Xia Qingwen, Huawei's Senior Storage Solution Director, joins us today to talk about this in a little more depth. Qingwen, thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Computing, storage, and networks are the three core components of a data center. Let me kick things off by asking you, how does storage specifically contribute to the development of a data center? Uh, let's have a good question. As you said, the storage system is one of the key components of the data centers. Uh, so the evolution of the data center cannot do without the evolution of the storage systems. So these days, you know, those customers are paying close attention to time to market, TTM in short. So the old flash system can do help at this point. You know, the storage media is evolving from the uh, HDD to MV, MV SSD to SCN storage class member for better performance and uh, for better energy saving. Uh, so the old flash system can slash the latency from the milliseconds to uh, or even thousands of milliseconds to under one millisecond or even as low as 100 microseconds. Wow. So make it possible to process data much, much faster than ever. So but what's the significance of this in the real world? I can give you an example. Okay. The financial institution uh, use this old flash system to support their credit card application system, shorten the risk warning time from several minutes in the past to only seconds today. Wow. So it can ensure you are ensure the safety of your money. Right. So I think you would love it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way. The cost of the SSD is falling every year. Right. So to build a an affordable and uh, much faster and the most cost-effective data center are the invent uh, are the uh, are the trend we see. Right. Thanks. So I understand that within data centers, storage and networks need to cooperate to maximize the functions of each. Am I correct in assuming that all flash data centers also have specific network requirements? Oh yeah, you're right. Um, physically, the network is between the host server and the backend storage systems. So, it's very important. Right. You know, the all flash bring us the breakthrough of, uh, in performance. Well, imposing a higher requirement to a network to unlock the uh, performance potential of those all fresh media. Uh, the storage system has replaced the traditional SCAS protocol. You know, the SCAS protocol was designed for the uh, HDD, but not for MV, ME, SSD, or SCN. Right. So with the most effective MV, ME protocol alternative. So, we need a new network architecture to support this. So that's the first requirement on network. The second one is the network must ensure the stability and reliability. Otherwise, no customer will use this kind of a new architecture. The third requirement on network is that your network must ensure zero packet loss and achieve microsecond level latency to ensure end-to-end -end high performance for the host server slow the switch to the backend storage system. By the way, the cost is also important. The new technology should bring the cost optimization for the customers. So I think yes, there are at least three or four requirements on the network. Right. 
Okay, so how does the network cope with these requirements? And can you go a little deeper into the development and evolution of the network? Oh, you have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, currently there are two common NOF MVME over fabric in short NOF network architecture. One is MVME over FC switch. Another is MVME over ROC. ROC means RDMA over converted Ethernet. Okay. You can say an IP network. So it's a common network. Both network architecture can achieve zero packet loss and microsecond level latency. So they can all ensure their high performance. In terms of the technology, uh, the, in terms of the, uh, the, the pro, uh, deployment cost and the performance, Huawei suggests the customer consider MVME over lock to to do their innovative uh, infrastructure constructions and that uh, you know. The ROC RDMA over Ethernet is based on the IP network or Ethernet. So it can help the customer to build a very simple network in the data center. So that's why we want to suggest customers to use MVME over ROC. I see. So I guess we can therefore conclude that NVME over fabrics, or NOF as you mentioned, has become the choice for next generation storage. Does NOF have any weaknesses? And before I let you answer, can you also tell us about Huawei storage and network joint innovation solution, along with the main advantages of Huawei NOF Plus? And why do you put the plus in there? You're clear. <laughs> From your question, I can see you're a professional. <laughs> For me, it's a little difficult to answer your question, but I try my best. Okay, thank you. Yeah, if compiled to the uh, SCAS protocol, you know, uh, also we just uh, talk a lot of the advantage of the MVME product, but in fact, it's not perfect. For example, uh, the time out control mechanism of MVME protocol is not good enough today. So in the case of the Abroma link, such as the link intermittent exception, a uh, disconnection, so those automatically Restoring of the uh, connection is not always possible in this scenario. So, of course, uh, they want to find a solution to solve this issue. Yeah. So Huawei NOF Plus is an enhancement to NOF. First, the first plus, uh, I can say, we use our plugin on the server side, our plugin on the uh, FC, uh, on the switch, our plugin on the storage side, they all can work together to solve all kinds of issues we just mentioned previous. The second plus is from our AI technology. How we use AI technology in our AI fabric switch to achieve zero packet loss and. Uh, microsecond level latency to ensure the high performance. So another thing is we have our multi-pass software on the server side to enhance the capability of the NOF infrastructure. Right. So that's our NOF plus. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, are there any use cases of this joint innovation solution that you mentioned? Uh, yes. Uh, we are working together with customers in financial and uh, care industries in global. Um, I can share one case with Bank of China, a leading bank in China, also a leading bank in the world. Right. Last year, uh, this bank and the Huawei joint built the MVME overlock network infrastructure in the data center, and we founded this improved the throughput, the overall throughput by 85%. Uh, of course, this also greatly reduced the cost for the customer. 
So the customer are very happy about that. So of course we are really we are really willing to welcome more customers to come to us to work together to do those NOF innovation. Well, those results are impressive, but we still have a long way to go, right? So what are your expectations for the future? Yeah, that's still a long way ago, I, I have to admit that. And uh, Huawei will uh, dedicate to, the, uh, to improve the uh, network uh, reliability and uh, performance, and uh, we committed to expand and improve the ecosystem especially. Okay, Ching Wen, how about we wrap things up there? Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.